Ta-da! <laughs> What's happening, my friends out there in YouTube land? Yours truly, Rockin' Dave, the real deal, North Fort Myers, Southwest Florida. And what we have today, coming back from our, uh, what is it, our wedding expo gig, this was, this was due to come, we have another one coming, I think, sometime next week, but this was due to come in, and we thought it would be ready when we got home, but it wasn't, so it just, just you know, we got home about an hour or so ago, and uh, well, maybe almost two hours now, something like that. Anyways, the guy from FedEx just showed up, and let's go ahead and see what we got in the box. Okay. Not reveal. Uh, it's always good to see these because how they're boxed, you know, how stuff is shipped. Packing, which is good. Letter from Santa. No candy because this did not come from Sweetwater. This came from, ta-da, Tascam. Now, the second one we ordered, actually was the first one we ordered, <laughs> that we ordered from Sweetwater. And then Deb said, okay, well, she got on Tascam's website, Tascam store, and got it from Tascam. It's the DR05X. Originally, she was going to grab the 07. They did not have it in stock. This happened to be cheaper. And the reason being, guitar... Man, Dan, what has happened? Bumble Best, what is happening? Thank you for tuning in, guys. And uh, we're going to see how well this has been packaged. And uh, I'll tell you what, guys. This is always kind of scary to see if this has been a return item because you see these are sealed. But it looks like this is not a return item because this box was a little bit tough opening. That's how you could usually tell. And it looks like everything is in here. Okay, so you don't really get adapters or SD cards with these anymore. Okay, we got the instruction manual and actually the unit itself. It will run on the two, yeah, two AA batteries. And here is the unit itself. And okay. But to get this to work, we have to put, it now takes a micro SD card, which I think you could get up like 99 hours, or I don't know what it is. You get a ridiculous amount of, of hours and that. Now, the, uh, the reason why we, we use these is when we are doing any type of music that we need to have backup systems. So if Deb's doing anything from the laptop, she always has a backup system um, because if something happens and so I, this is basically what this is. It's a you know, handheld digital recorder. It appears to have a built-in speaker in the back, but we know how those are usually. Here's your built-in mics. This is a mic in and or a line in now. The... Uh, yeah, mic slash extension in, which would be line in. Uh, a guy named Tom Quayle um, did a review on this about a year ago. He saw the, the video, and he was the only one out of the videos that I've seen that said that, yeah, this is also that input doubles as a line in. So let's say you need to do a direct source from one of your cameras. With, it shall be the uh, one eighth inch jack. Um, let me do this. Uh, these cables, although I have the adapters plugged in, you know, it takes one of these. This is a stereo cable. So let's say if you had to record something from your, your, your laptop or another older recorder and you don't do with USB, you could use this. You, you'll have to sit through the whole recording, though. But you'll get a direct recording in. Um, and like I said, you know, there's your USB. Here's the access door to the micro SD. Okay. And um, 
this hold function is when you when you engage this and let's say you're playing this none of these buttons will be activated so it, it disarms all these so you cannot accidentally erase something or change something so that's actually a good feature that's still on our old um, dr07 which we've had for years and years and years and um, then you have your headphones out and it looks like these will be everything's tiny you know your fast forward rewind up down for menus play uh, on off stop all of these with this is your record button when you hit the record it will flash so it will not record but the good thing about it is you can see where your level meters are so that you could adjust you know your your input and then when you hit it again then it gets activated as record. Um, there were a few times, uh, quite a few years ago, that we had a DJ. And when we were doing these weddings, I'd see these DJ. The, the DJs would have their laptops with absolutely no backup system. Nothing at all. And one time, this one guy was in a panic button because his laptop, he did not get a connection. And he was literally, literally freaking out. Thank God that I had extra time to play. I was doing the um, cocktail hour. And it gave him enough time to just, like, five to ten minutes before he went on. He got his connection. And I looked at that, and I saw that, and I told Deb, if we ever, in that situation, we we'll use these as backups. Yeah, you have to write them down on a piece of paper what, you know, what the number is. Because you'll have a number, let's say 001, 002, you know, so forth. There'll be your tracks if you do it individually. And you'll have to write it separate on a piece of paper. But with, you'll get AA batteries, so you're going to have to go and get special batteries. And if you lose a signal, you will not lose the gig. You'll always have a backup system. I, you know, I think the way I do because, you know, in the real world situations, I'm telling you, anything happens. And it literally is anything happens. And, you know, when people have, um, especially with these wedding gigs, they're spending a lot of money. That's their special day. You don't want problems, you know. And you don't want to draw attention to stuff that happens because it happens. But, you, you know, it's part of the show. It's part of the gig. Everyone's having a great time, you know. So... Of course, I'll probably use now. This thing, from what I understand, will record mono and stereo. And one of the videos I seen that there are people who will use this to do voiceover. So if they do book narrating or you know voiceover for um, a commercial or anything that, that requires voiceover, they could do this, use this, and I eat up a whole lot of. Uh, uh, memory on their laptops or their you know dedicated computers um, that's why I do like a lot of stuff like this because you know it's it it's easy for me to use and I don't have to worry about a signal loss or a dropout or anything like that because it's such a pain in the ass you know I loved you know when we were at this um this expo today there was a guy, he had a nice, he was doing DJ, we were doing the live music, and, you know, he was, like, pretty impressed what we do, and he says, yeah, no one, we were the only live musician there. There was, like, it was a smaller expo, so there was something like, I don't know, 50 boots or something like that, and uh, so this guy, you know, he had his setup, and it was great, and he was saying the same thing, man, he loves technology, but when it doesn't work, it's, man, it, it fails at the worst time possible and he's the same way you know he's um i think the guy is older than me and uh he is definitely thinks the same way we that we think always have that backup system you know we're old school have a backup system you have no problems you have no backup system there's problems you know so yeah this did the first one we ordered we ordered from sweetwater the second one deb happened to get on Tascam's. uh website and order directly from them and you know this came so we do have two of the original dro7s one of them malfunctioned and i i took the thing apart and i was just i think it was the uh the uh the volume you couldn't get the volume up i took it apart 
real, you know, real lightly, real daintily, and see what I could get in there. And it's just, you know, it's plastic. And after a while, for so many years of use, it just wore down. So the original one we still have and still use, but it's only a matter of time that goes out. So we got this. And then we do have um, the DR08. Um, this will run on the regular size SD cards, but this is more multi-track. So I'll use this here. And it could be a little bit more in depth where this is just pretty cut and dry. So, anyways, my friends, didn't didn't think I was gonna go live with this. I just thought kind of share that with you. I think this is like 119. And um I'll see what I could do. I, I still got some other videos. I did try to do a recording. I have to work with this a little more, running the Digitech Trio Plus into the Digitech S drum uh pedal. See if I can get them to the Co, you know, code talk. If not, you can use one after the other, you know. But I do have to clear a little bit of the memory in the S drum pedal, so so I'll have to work on that. And uh, if I see get something going with this, I could post it, you know. But uh, yeah, these little things work great. Zach Dong, what's happening, man? Bumblebus, yeah, just yeah, just what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I'll tell you what. A lot of this is. It's starting to become old technology. Um, the, the thing is, when stuff works, it doesn't matter how old it is, providing it's still available. That's, you know, that's the thing with electronics. And here's another thing. When you buy these at some of these music stores that have these return policies, really open up that box, see how easy it is to open that box, because I'm telling you, we've already caught a few of these items, we didn't buy them, that they look like they were returned items, and they're going to sell them like they're brand new. So if something has been used, you know, some of these music stores will have a 45-day return policy, 90-day return policy, that's nice, okay, that's real nice, but the problem is, what kind of use did it actually go through? You know, use and abuse did it actually take? Did it get all banged up? Even if it's not banged up or scratched up, what happened? Maybe it got dropped or something. Then you buy it at a brand new price, and it's like, okay, now i got to return it because it's not really working. So before you walk out, make sure, man, if you need to plug it in, you plug it in. That's your money you're spending. Oh, but it was on the shelf. Oh, all right, if that's the case, then give me a discount. Well, I can't do that. Okay, well, then I can't buy it. You know, really, you know, always remember, you have, they have the things we want, right? But they, you have the things they need. It's your money, your business. And if it looks like it's kind of shady, walk away, man. We've done it a few times. Anyways. I just wanted to share it with you. Just be careful when you start buying. It's always going to be electronic stuff, you know, effect pedals, um, you know, multi-effect units, digital recorders, cameras, you know, open up those boxes, ask that guy. And if he's going to give you all oh, well, this, that, or anything, say, hey, this is my money. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to be blidge or anything, but it's when they want to give you a hard time. And, oh, trust me, trust me, trust me. If someone says trust you too many times during the war, in a, in a row, and it chances are you don't want to trust them, you know? Why are you saying trust me so many times if you don't want me to open up the box? I just want to see, you know? And even if it's here, you open up the box and you can see that it's still sealed, that'll tell you it's new. It hasn't been opened. You know, unless they cross that line and be shady with that. Who knows, right? But, uh, you know, again, these are, and it does have the little pole mount you can put on a pole. And they're very light, and they're, they're plastic. But if you're not abusing them, they will last because the uh, DR07, I think we bought those. Oh, man. When did we get those? Maybe 2006, 2008. Yeah, basically when it came out. And the one, we, I, I'm still able to use it. But when it goes, it's discontinued. It's called now the DR07X. But these, we got the old five. So we got two of these for less than one of the newer ones they wanted. They had at Guitar Center. So, and again, it does take um, 
two AA batteries. It comes with the double A's. Um, you know, let's see if I could. I got some double A's here without busting open the package. It'll turn on, but there's no SD card, so I can't do anything. I got to get a micro SD card. I got a regular SD card. It won't, it won't take that, though. Okay. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. And we should you turn it on. Hold it for... Uh, there we go. It light these now they light up blue. Uh it says language. Look at that. Did you see that guys? Yeah. Um, it's in English. I'm gonna go ahead. I think when you hit the play, it says like it's actually it okay. Yeah. Oh, we can set the date and the time. It's 2022. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. 2022. Uh, date is the six months. Well, I should actually start, you know, time stamping these things. And then, uh, should I end it? oh, it's about 7.30. Let's see what happens. Let's see what you got. No, 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 no. Let's watch this. The 12th. No, no, no. Back, 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 back. Okay. We'll go here. You know, why can't things just be simple? That's all I ask for. Man, maybe it is. Okay, I should. I should watch my cool sometimes, guys, you know. Let's see what happens. Okay, it goes military time. Okay. I'm going to put 7.30. Play and it should say okay, but see, I it says it'll say no card. So, and then the light doesn't last long, but which is cool because now you can see. So, um, and then to turn it off, you press the stop. That'll this button will actually act as the stop and your power on off. Let's see. Okay, I guess in and out. Okay, I'm starting to understand that. So we got this. There we go. So. Yeah, when I get this up and going, I'll you know I'll do a, a short video, show you how we use it. There's gazillions of ways you could use these things. Um, but like I said, that video with Tom Quayle, he did say that when you get into the the uh, the homepage and you get into your mics and your internal uh, sources, this not only will be a mic and a line, but with the mic setting. I think there's two options. You got one, you can set power. So if you need to have a microphone where you need like phantom power or something like that, you could do that. And you know, also I think when you get into that function again, because there's a little bit of like a like a bit of a menu, you know, I think it'll say something like uh, if you, if you're activating a line source, because I usually use that for a line source, and then it just pop in, and then whatever I need to record goes direct. So, and uh, which is pretty cool because. If I wanted to do something with the uh, with the Zoom uh, Q8, the first you know Q Q8 camera, not the new one that came out fairly recent. I think Guitar Man Dan, you've got that new one. We still have the first one that came out. We still have the first Q3 that came out and the, the third version that came out. But that Q8, where you go directly into with the quarter inch. What's nice with that? Let's say if you wanted, if you got something recorded on here, and as you're recording, you want to do music in the background. Well, you could just pop your outs with here that with the headphone and go direct into the camera, and you could set that, and then you could start, you know, doing some videos and post those up. A lot of it is, I guess you could say, a um, 
uh, more of a simplistic way as opposed to separate recording audio, separate this. And yeah, you, you do have more options where you got a lot more control. And uh, which is something I, I'm, I'm kind of playing around with, you know, getting into a little bit later on. Uh, but I don't want to overwhelm myself right now because, you know, we've still got all these gigs coming up and all this. And it's uh, more of the private gigs, corporate gigs. So now, the, you know, you got to up your ante. So my focus is always on that. But I could see down the road where I could do something like this, hook this up directly into the camera, I record my own music, and then, you know, maybe post some videos, maybe some, like, nighttime videos. You know, we do, uh, uh, maybe I'll do, uh, you know, uh, an example, you know, three-minute take, and then you know, see if I can post it up. So, anyways, my friends, that is unboxing number one. The second one, which is the exact same thing, Tascam DRO5X is going to be coming sometime this week from Sweetwater. Let's see what kind of candy we get. Anyways, my friends, uh, didn't mean to bore anybody, but thought I'd do the unboxing. You can't, like I said, this we did get this from Tascam, and... The only thing I see useful with an unboxing is anything that's sensitive like this and delicate. You can see exactly how it's, you know, how it's packaged. So when you get it, it's not, you know, all banged up and all screwed up, and then you know you send it back, and you know it's it's, uh, you know, really an inconvenience, and then you gotta wait and all that. That's the only thing. So, and uh, let's see, we got anything down here? I guess if you want to put like a little strap. Got no use for that. Anyways, my friends, that is the unboxing, and uh, I am going to go live on Wednesday because I definitely want to uh, talk about you know how I prepare for some of these gigs when they're you know the styles of music are so far apart from each other, and when I got them like back to back, back to back, you know, there's a little strategy to give you guys an idea. Um, a quick summary. The, one of the last videos I posted, not, you know, with the seven string, I thought that was, you know, that was kind of cool because you get to see my, you, you, what you're going to see when you're standing up, you know, your perspective on the fretboard. Um, but the video prior to that, there was a comment I made and it's, it's something that's worked for me. If you want to learn a certain style of music, um, the best thing to do is listen to that style of music, you know, for a long duration of time. Let let those rhythms and melodies and all that just sink into your brain. And everyone is different. Everyone will, will um, you know, and take information, you know, quick. And, and even as, as your own self, you might take some information on this style of music quicker than that style of music, you know. L just let it come natural. You know, just keep listening and keep trying don't get discouraged because, see, the real secret is your listening habits. The more you listen to something, it's in your mind. It's going to come out of your hands eventually. And uh, it's it's something that has definitely helped me. Without a doubt, it has definitely helped me. So, And I'll, I'll talk more on that with the, on, on Wednesday and with some of the other. I'll, I'll keep everyone posted. But uh, anyways, my friends, so... That's the box unboxing of the Tascam DR05X. And until next time, you stay strong, safe, and true. Rock on and God bless you. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a good evening. Take care.